this year. Oh good, that's really awesome. Wait, oh, 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 right, you too. Thank you, thank you very much. You both saved my after life. Uh, uh, it was so hot in there. I was starting to get swamped back. Well, swamped back, I guess. Allow me to introduce myself. No legs, Larry. Head usher at your service. Oh, no, no, I don't bite, I promise. Wait, no, don't go back there, that's... Restricted area, oh. Oh, well, the show must go on, eh? Hey, everyone, welcome to the Phantom Theatre. Once again, I am your head usher. Ooh. Well, I guess I'm actually your head and torso usher. No legs, Larry, eh? Ah, yeah. oh, thank you, thank you, folks. Hey, listen up. The show's about to start, so please take your seats. Please take your seats. <gasps> okay, don't actually steal your seat. That's right, I'm talking to you. Security's had their eye on you all day. Ooh, I like your outfit. Hey, listen up, folks. Anyone, hey, hey. Hey, everyone. Anyone still in the aisles once the show starts will be dragged out screaming. <gasps> I'm not kidding, and don't try and I buy that kid. We're an all-age attraction here. We'll make the kids scream too. <laughs> okay, folks, let's see what all this thunder's about. Let's see. <clears throat> ah, yes, just as I suspected. The lights are dimming, folks. That means the show's about to start, so please take your seats. But first, a little bit of housekeeping, eh? Now. Which of you folks got to see the Phantom Theatre Encore show last summer? Let me hear from you. Oh, well, it's great to have you back here again today. Thank you, thank you. Now, where are all my newbies at? Let me hear from you guys. Woo! Woo! Lots of new victims of the Phantom Theatre. Beware, you newcomers. Woo! Now. Which of you geezers out there got to ride the OG Phantom Theatre ride way back in the day? Let me hear from you guys. Wow, you guys are awfully chipper for a bunch of old farts. Good for you guys. Well, thank you all for joining us here today. And get ready for a show that'll knock your socks off. Along with your shoes, your feet, well, and entire legs for that matter. But first, Please silence all cellular devices, tablets, pages, beepers, AM radios, rotary telephones, and please keep the Morse code to a minimum. Lastly, please no flash photography or flash mobs during today's performance. What? Are you people paying attention? What could you possibly be looking at? Behind me? What the fuck? You two, don't mess around with that rope. One wrong move and you'll wipe the whole theater. Oh, what? No, don't no, listen to that. Back away from the rope. I'm not kidding. No, no. Oh. Now you've done it. You've angered the maestro. Oh, he's here. No. For a scare, sitting there in your chair, innocent and unaware of what we have in store. 
I performed here long ago in a show you would know. Now I'm back to say hello oh, and earn a new encore. As phantom, I'm your fiendish host with the most. I'm a ghost, though I do not like to boast. I'm filled with ghoulish pride. Now it's time to meet the cast like a blast from the past. Back on stage again at last, despite how they all died. <laughs> to see the theater, did you? <laughs> Stab to death of May Lear With his spear In the rear He passed away for old Shakespeare He's passed it all with fate Critics said we were ahead I'll admit this was it Till I fell into the pit But then fleet at her away And now, back and deader than ever By popular demand Another we welcome you to the Phantom Theatre! Welcome to the theatre, dying to try To entertain your spirits before we all die Don't care if I am making a nice living wage I would die for my life on the stage Welcome to the theatre, it's bright, bold and clear That when we're entertaining you, danger is near I don't really care if I don't reach old age I would die the headliners of our show. First, the great Houdalini, master magician, whose last living performance was an attempt to pull a bunny out of a hat. But dark magic won that day, for the hair he produced from that hat was a deadly and dastardly demon, fiendishly filled with fury, ferociousness, and fur. Oh, my act became hair raising without a thin air. My magic raised the deep to give us a scare. <laughs> Rabbit had a habit of killing in rage. Oh, I died for my life on the stage. Next is Hilda Bovine, an opera singer whose high notes could literally bring down the house and everyone in it. They say it isn't over to the third sing, but they never mention the scary. A daredevil whose one fatal mistake turned out to be his one fatal mistake. His passionate performances were always preceded by his most famous line, I risk my life for your love! My act is so deadly by <gasps> that you'll be holding your breath. And if it ends with me dying, they'll steal up me to death. To the theater, we hope you engage. It's why I died for my life on the stage. Presto! Yep.
the spirits of our performers are <laughs> It is I, the maestro, your headliner and star. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> ah, yes, thank you, thank you. Today, you lucky peasants have stumbled across the crown jewel of the entertainment world. <laughs> Ever since our gilded doors were first opened for business, adults worshipped the Phantom Theatre. Children loved the Phantom Theatre. Everyone simply adored the Phantom Theatre. So, naturally, they closed the theatre. Pardon me, Larry, but don't you have a puddle of your own spinal fluid to mop up or something? <gasps> Sadly, our devoted usher is correct. The theatre was closed years ago. Boarded up. Forgotten. Now you just roll around in the dark, blasting your little pew pews at the uh, <laughs> Is that boo thing still even happening over there? <laughs> well, that's offensive. With the theater closed, I was reduced to standing in bread lines and taking a few morning shifts at Chick fil A. But every so often, a rift occurs in the mortal veil, and talents like mine are allowed to walk the earth once again and perform for sweaty tourists like uh, this little one. <sighs> now, with the rest of you as a captive audience, we can make our triumphant return. Once again, the Phantom Theatre will play for standing room only. Hey, watch it. Sorry, Larry, but... No one told you to volunteer for Houdini's sawing an usher in half trick without it ever being rehearsed. <laughs> now run along and buy yourself something with all the money you clearly save on shoes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> As for the rest of you, out there in the dark, the time has come. Gaze in appropriate wonder as I, along with your favorite performers, now risen from the dead, welcome you to the theater. <laughs> Introducing our special act, the great Houdini. <laughs> oh, didn't we just see that trick? That's all I've got. The great Garbanzo. I was wondering where that other chorus girl went. And the incomparable diva herself, Miss Hilda Bavine. <laughs> all right, all right, Hilda, settle down. I've got three bottles of wine in my dressing room, and I'd like to keep them intact for my lunch break. <laughs> now, together, we will astound you. What? What do you two warm bodies want? I'm trying to introduce this heart-stopping number. What? You want to be in the show? What possible talent could you two have? You can do what with your what? This is a family show. There's no way I'm giving a slot to two... Living beings. You know, my mumsy always told me, <laughs> never trust the living. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it only gets better. <laughs> you wouldn't. Oh. Did you see that? Hmm, but I want it. What should I tell them? How should I react? Dear headliners, um, Perhaps we should save your number for later on in the show, you know. It really go out with a bang in the end. <laughs> there goes my $9 Costco Chardonnay. 
No, oh, Chardonnay. Good choice. <laughs> so, right. I have a 15 minute union break coming up anyway. Dear patrons of the arts. Union? The... Uh, what's that about a union? I didn't say anything about a union. What? The Phantom Theatre is uh, cautiously proud to present Willard and Boris. Caught in the ropes. Boss, I know you said union. I sure did. Oh, I know you did. You're not here. Not here. Better than the rope trick your cousin, Broken Neck Nicky, tried back in 1992. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> but no time to dwell on the past, because the future is now. Our three glorious headliners will now present their palpably pulse pounding no, performance. No, excuse me, boss. Not now, Larry. I'm using alliteration. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I got to, but I'd really like to do a number myself with the ushers. Yay! What? Yeah. You can't just decide to be in the show. This isn't so you think you can dance. Or in your case, so you think you can hover. <gasps> These headliners are waiting to do their number. Now scram! Well, unfortunately, boss, I can't do that. <laughs> you see, I just so happen to have joined 
The Usher's Union! Oh, no. And according on the 364 of Section 184, I get to have my own spot in the show. Ha! <laughs> and that includes coffee breaks, dental insurance, 401k, and don't do it. Donuts on Fridays! Yeah! <laughs> this is my number! <laughs> oh, come on, boss! I don't want to disappoint all my fans on MySpace. <laughs> MySpace? Yeah. You really are dead. <laughs> Fine. But save me a blueberry glazed one. <gasps> oh, yes, I'm... Sorry, headliners, but... Uh, uh, I'm going to give Larry a chance. See you in the green room. No. <laughs> you need therapy. <laughs> <laughs> Dear theatre goers, we've been bamboozled yet again into introducing No Legs Larry into some sort of musical number entitled. <laughs> <laughs> I kid you not. Happy feet. <laughs> As your usher, it is my solemn duty to take tickets from each lad and cutie. Even though I must say, as I float here today, that it's hard without legs and my booty. Now my work as an usher is complete. And this spotlight feels oh so warm and sweet. And despite of the gap that once was my lap, I will dance like I have. Happy feet! Now please make some noise for the Phantom Theatre Union Tavern! No legs, ground beef. What do you call a girl with no legs? Carry. How can you not describe my jokes? Knee slappers. Ah, I've got a million of a post. Hello.
will now try and recreate their last living performance without recreating the demons, death, and destruction that accompanied them. Without further ado, the great 